I will send my fear before thee, and I will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all thy enemies turn their backs unto thee. I don't come out to say what I will do to my enemies. We settle it by this covenant. Once you become my enemy, you must turn your back. Sickness is taken away from your life. Amen. The waters in your house, they are blessed. Amen. What is your bread? Your bread means what you eat. Your, that means, as a person, you might not be a billionaire, but you will never lack in any season. Amen. When you serve God. So, there are things that don't work for people. It works for only people that are in service. If God created you for himself, we are duty bound to serve him. We are duty bound to worship him. We are duty bound to serve him. Jesus said to Satan, get it behind me, for you shall worship only the Lord thy God. For only him, only him, nobody else. But people have lost the purpose why they came. You are serving yourself. You are, everything you are doing is for yourself. God is not involved. You are making money for yourself. You are, God is not involved. You don't do service. You don't belong. A day will come. When no prayer can help you. A day will come when no intercession can help you. No prophetic intervention can help you. Because these things are spiritual. To be committed to service. We are to be committed to service and what? Worship. Serving God is not just an activity, but a co but covenant. Serving God is not just what? Activity. But a covenant. It's a covenant between, he said, let my people go that they will serve me. Why? Because the people we are serving him already. Can I hear them, somebody? Amen. So, God does not abandon anyone who serves him. 